we had the opportunity to talk with Myra Malloy and Annie Jacob from the She's All That reboot, He's All That, coming to Netflix. And when asked about how they felt about working on this new film, here's what they had to say. Check it out. Were you at all familiar with the original 1999 version of this? And how does it feel to be carrying such a torch over into the future generation? Well, wow, yeah, the, the weight of the world is on, no, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm a huge fan. Even though it came out in 99 and like I was only a couple years old, I am a huge fan of rom-coms and I have spent my entire adult life watching rom-coms. Uh, so I've always heard of the film. I've known about its existence. I'm a huge fan of, you know, all the people in it. So when we heard about the remake, I was extremely excited and was just hoping that I would get a chance to audition. So yeah, very cool. and excited for this generation to be able to see it in a new light. Uh, yeah, so I, I, um, I it, it played on TV a lot. I'm not a big rom-com person, so I don't always like go sit down and watch, um, but I love the parts that I have seen. They're very talented actors and I have so much respect for them and they are very funny. Um, Freddie Prince, when we were growing up, he's the man, Rachel <laughs> like hasn't aged a day. Um, no. <laughs> like a beautiful, talented. I don't know why you talk about her looks first. Like she's very talented. Um, and she like produced a movie recently. Um, I'm sure she's done more, but I, I know that she did that and that was really cool. So it's just, it, it was a lot of pressure to fill these shoes. And when I um, was told that I booked it, I was like, oh, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> um, but uh, it, it's really cool. It's a really cool experience. Your character, Nisha, of course, she's uh, the best friend of Cameron, played by Tanner. Uh, tell us a little bit about her character and what she's bringing to this new reimagining. OK, so um, the really exciting thing about her, um, so like I said, I'm not a big rom-com person. I do really love comedy, so I, I need to stop saying that. I love comedy, yeah. not always into rom-com. But my favorite part about Nisha is that she doesn't really care about much. She does. She has no filters. Like I don't have filters. Um, and, and she really speaks with that's true. That's true. That is true. <laughs> 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 um, and she like she doesn't hold back. So she literally is the character that says exactly what the audience is um, thinking at the time. Especially if you're a person who doesn't usually watch rom-coms like like me, like I got to really play with that. Um, and uh, I'm also just really excited because you know all the '90s rom-coms you don't always see such um, representation, and then we get to bring that. I'm like honored as hell. <laughs> like it's pretty dope. And and Nisha is like being one of the two like stronger women in Cameron's life. Uh, the other being her sister, Bryn, uh, played by Isabella. If, if, if it came between one of the two, who was quick and first to put Cameron in check? Is it Nisha or Bryn? Oh, that's a tough question. That's a really tough question. <laughs> I, <laughs> um, I feel like, I feel like the, the one, t the times that, uh, Isabella, uh, no, sorry, Bryn, the times that Bryn and Nisha would bond was to keep Cameron in check. Um, mm -hmm. I think it was all the, obviously it was much easier for Nisha's character because she um, she's a person who doesn't give any fuck. She speaks her mind and Brynn is the younger sister. Um, like I, I, my character is the kind of person who laughs when he makes fun of her, you know, and does things to her like an older brother does in public, but also is like, yo. You root for it, you know. So I feel like, yeah. I feel like it's Nisha. Like both keep him in check, but Nisha's kind of like. And Myra, you you play Quinn, who's like uh, one third of the pageant in uh, Alden Crew. Uh, tell us about her character and what she's bringing uh, to the table. Um. Well, I don't want to spoil the film, but <laughs> but um, I feel like Quinn Quinn is you know, a very loyal, very supportive friend. She's a good shoulder to cry on. And she is always there for Paget, no matter what, on the phone, in person. Um, I feel like Paget and Quinn have a really close relationship. They're each other's confidants. And um, to not spoil the plot or anything, so I'm not gonna say any more, but I feel like Quinn is really that solid rock for Paget. And, and she's also like 
the most unapologetic, I think, uh, in being herself and being a true friend. Uh, which, which brings me to the next question is about, and I hope this is not too much of a spoiler, but it says, you know, your character arcs, I feel are like the most necessary spin in this reimagining. Uh, and I just want to know what the importance of that is to you two, uh, starting with, with you, Myra, uh, the importance of being able to portray these characters and bring these characters in this new generation of the he's all that, she's all that. I mean, I feel like on top of like the character arc in supporting like um, Paget and the story and everything, I feel like it's just so cool that these characters have been reimagined in a way that it's very inclusive. Um, like growing up, obviously I never really saw myself on TV or on, in film. And I just feel like it's really cool that this time around, like Quinn gets to be like a very supportive, cool, you know, I mean, the, all that aside, it's just cool that she gets to be like an Asian girl. Like, I just think that's super cool. <laughs> I was like, there's no other way to say this. Yes, it's just really cool that, you know, we get to see more, um, especially I feel like now everyone's being way more inclusive and we're seeing more of ourselves and friends on TV. And I just feel like it's just so cool that I get to see that I hope that someone my age when I saw, you know, the original would get to see themselves and it'd be like, hey, like she looks just like me. Like, that's so cool. And it's so cool that, you know, high school is portrayed in such a diverse way. And I just think that's awesome. Annie? Um, I mean, yeah, exactly what Myra is saying. Like, it's just, <laughs> I mean, like we've all been, we've always been here. We've always existed. And it's like really cool to finally just be ourselves but on TV and in film. And now people who are in our groups and who are like us can see that and see that we're being, you know, represented and respected on our stories being told. And just because we are just being ourselves. And that's like really great. And, and uh, when I got the character description and who she was, um, I really did feel like it was really important to uh, make sure we weren't playing stereotypes. Yeah, really, absolutely. You know, and it was just cool. Like um, Myra and I, immediately mesh we have that both in common where you know being diverse and um being in a project we could just bond over that be ourselves and have fun and that in and of itself is powerful like we're american but just being who we are yeah. brings so much like it's the little things yeah are and like you said not playing any stereotypes just like being ourselves or being true to yeah. the character which are just like teenage girls yeah. in a high school being us. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did like I did have some friends like um because uh, I'm not actually a part of the LGBTQ family but it was really great to like my friends called me up and were like yo <laughs> like you you this like let me help you out so I have uh, my friend she writes um young adult novels for the LGBTQ family her name is Kelly Quinlan and she just kept um, I would be like, how's this outfit? Is it too stereotypical? And she'd be like, girl, you good. <laughs> like, you know, yeah. she, like, she was, she was like, a, like my uh, girl, man, so. So you had a bit of a coach there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, now there, there are a few nods to the original, uh, such as what overalls, a lot of overalls I've noticed. Uh, the return of Rachel Lee Cook, uh, Matt Lillard, and of course the iconic dance off. Oh, yeah. I thought you were saying, like, overalls was in the movie. Like, there was, like, no, no. Yeah, yeah. You, that's what I was talking about. You were wearing overalls. You were wearing overalls. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, tell me about the preparation for that dance sequence and how long that took to, like, actually get down. <laughs> well, we... So we had two days of rehearsal, like, it was like seven hours, right? I think it was seven hours. Oh, so we did, oh, go ahead. Oh, oh no, yeah, I was just trying to think like how long it was, cause, uh, <laughs> cause I'm like, I'm like not like the best mover. I don't, never, you continue. <laughs> <laughs> everyone did, everyone did fine. I thought everybody, you nailed it. So for like a day's time, it actually, so so our choreographer, um, Jamil, which I have never fangirl in my life until I met Jamil, okay? <laughs> I was like, ah, step up, ah, dance. But um, 
uh, him and then Mark is also one of our, who's like assistant choreographer. They really worked with us. So before we really started getting into filming, they met us and like over a course of like an hour, they saw where our skill set was and then they choreographed and put stuff together. And then um, we like closer to the day we had to shoot the dance sequence. We had two days, I think it was like two full days of rehearsal and we quickly learned the steps, got it down and had a blast. Wow. Goodness, I, cut and action. <laughs> hats, off, hats off to you guys. Also, we can't forget the, another nod was the iconic Kiss Me song that also plays in the background as well. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to talk with me. Just let everybody know when and where they can watch this film. He's all that. Netflix. He's all that. August 27th on Netflix. Make sure you guys check it out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.